I love that you call me an expert. You're the bunny whisperer. Look at how adorable this bunny is. I had a bunny. Yeah. His name was Bun Bun. Bun Bun. And he lived, I got him in an Easter egg hunt. Mm -hmm. And this was back when they were doing that. Sure. He lived for 10 years, and that's a long time for a bunny. It's a lifetime commitment. You get something for a pet, it's definitely a lifetime commitment. We got chicks, we got and, bunnies. And Bun Bun lived 10 years. You know, you've got great friends at the Indiana House Rabbit Society that would love to help you know, teach people how to have a pet bunny, but it is a lifetime commitment. In fact, this tortoise here is going to live decades compared to the bunny, and this little baby tortoise is only three years old. Now, chicks and bunnies grow fast, right? Right. I know. Look, uh, we're we're hanging out in the green room with some cute chicks. <laughs> this is actually a turkey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At, at Silly Sparks, we love our, our baby birds and, and my beautiful wife, Eagle Emma. Um, her favorite thing, of course, in the springtime, farming, doing what we do, right, right. is to get chicks and, and turkeys. Do you know what a baby turkey is called? What? A poult. I did not know. P-O-L-T. Yeah, we were going to be the Indianapolis poults way back when. It was a typo. So we wound up with right. a horse mask. I, nobody knows that. It's a story I totally just made up. But, yeah, it's Easter. So we you got to have comedy. On the drive over here today, I went to the post office office because yes you can get chicks um, in the mail or at the farm store but again if you're going to get a, an animal for a pet you know it's a lifetime commitment not just because it's Easter and it happens to be cute these are um, called uh, copper marins and they lay the most beautiful little um, it's almost like a copper colored egg yeah we we love our, our chicks and um, it, it, the chicken is the most common pet animal around the world. We I think cats and dogs, but either. oh, in many parts of the world, you have a pet chicken because it's not just a, a pet. It's right. It gives you an egg every day, right? Right. So it's a food source. And chickens are gaining in popularity even here in town. There's a lot of city ordinances that have had to be kind of rewritten because the hobby of chicken farming, there's so many great local. Oh, and, and we don't want to uh, neglect Indiana the companies. duck. You are holding I, a duck. I'm holding a duck. He's called a call duck. A call duck. Isn't he gorgeous? He is gorgeous. Yeah, we now, got him. I also had a pet duck. Yeah, what was his name? Quacker. Quacker. <laughs> Animal quacker. Animal quacker. Oh, I see what he did there. So know what you're getting. We always say that. Know to take care of them. This is a commitment. This isn't just a couple days. Oh, and don't release them in the wild. No, they, no, they that, survive. that bunny would become hawk food in the wild or, yeah. or stray cat food or anything else. It's and I'm going to survive. I, did, I, I found this out, too. When people think, oh, they can go back in the wild. Wild bunnies and domesticated rabbits... They don't, they're actually enemies. They don't yeah. Oh, no, they're not going to get along. And a wild rabbit is definitely going to protect its space right. and, you know, everything else. So this is the cutest little bunny. All right. Have Someone a great wants Easter. you to come out and help and educate, uh, especially you do a lot of things at schools. It's and season, how do yeah. they get a hold of you? Springtime, sillysafaris.com. Sillysafaris.com. Call or email and have a great Easter. And <laughs> look at that. And look at the, the turkey and the bunny are uh, having a love affair. They're yeah. <laughs> the, well, the bunny's so warm, the turkey's going, oh, this is so nice and warm. Amazon, John, you do wonderful things educating us. We thank you so much for what you do. And there's some chicks there, and they're on the right. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> let's go back to Lifestyle Live. Thank you, Amazon, John. You're too wonderful. I told you guys, cuteness overload. So cute. These turtles, are, these turtles are like looking at each oh. other going, how, how do we get booked for this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 